Hello, my name is Misha Kucherenko. I'm founder of Stereo Pravda. From the very onset of our company, the main goal was to build best portable products available. 25 years ago, all of us were using home landlines to make the phone calls. And now we switched to smartphones with no loss in communication. The same way 25 years ago was the pinnacle of what's been called high-end audio, where millions of people all over the world refined their skill of advanced music listening via sophisticated systems that at the time were called high-end audio systems. Now, 25 years later, we're using portable audio systems. At the time, our company, Stereo Pravda, was distributor and had the privilege, actually, to be a distributor of one of the most famous, world-known brands in high-end audio. And uh, we had the privilege to work with this company, so we accumulated the knowledge about what constitutes great sound. But as they say, the most constant thing in life is changes. When we say that our products are passing the torch of home high-end audio's old values to the new generation of audiophiles, we really mean it. Since uh, we've accumulated all this knowledge and experience about what attributes constitute great sound at home, and we're thinking how we can transfer oral knowledge and experience to a portable platform. When you get rid of the most important and the most expensive component of an audio system, the room, the task to achieve great sound becomes not as monumental as it might seem. And by the way, by portable, I mean two things. Well, first of all, obviously portable is something that you can carry around with you. And second, by portable, you mean a device which isolates your ear from the external noise. So we took the basic guidelines how to develop our products, in this case ear monitors, from the way these products are designed in home audio. Like for instance, all the drivers in our ear monitors are on the same axis, like it's in every loudspeaker. Also, uh, the uh, environment, the sound is created in room, as I, as I said, the most important component. We try to place our drivers in the listening environment of your canal in the most proper way, as much as possible close to the eardrum and place them on axis with tympanic membrane. And of course, we don't have too much influence on the environment of your canal, but at least we're trying to place our drivers as proper as possible within this environment. Also, we don't use too sophisticated uh, face filtering for our drivers, like in the best loudspeakers again. Uh, we use the best possible components we can obtain in the world, like resistors, drivers, and the cable, which is made custom made for us in Japan, is actually made by our long-term partner, Chris Samavigo, who is very well-known cable designer, and he even earned uh, himself a nickname Cable Guru. Like best loudspeaker systems, we can use our ear monitors in what's called active mode, which means that there are several sections in ear monitors which can be driven by separate power amplifiers. As in home audio, it's uh, well known that it's the only way to achieve the best sound possible. The same way, using our dedicated DACA unit, we can actually use two amplifiers for two separate sections in our ear monitors. To cut the long story short, at the time, most of the conventional ear monitors on the market are designed by the principle of universality, which means that they're trying to appeal to all 100% of customers on the market, and doing so, they obviously strike some sufficient and significant Sony compromises. On the opposite, our approach to design was to design products which would be 100% optimal, in terms of sound quality, and of course we need to strike some compromises in terms of universality, but that's our conscious decision. To illustrate our point, 
I would like to give you an analogy. Let's imagine that you're listening to a great sounding high end audio system set up in your living room, but you're listening to it not from sitting in the middle of the loudspeakers in what's called near field, but listening to that great sounding system from your study, which is connected to the living room with a long and curved corridor. So what's significant about this analogy is if you imagine and you had the sound quality in that study compared to living room, two very important conclusions come from this analogy. Well, first of all, obviously the sound is compromised. But at the same time, what's important is that whatever you do in the living room, trying to improve the sound, it can be barely heard in that study, and in a way it would be like shoot uh, sparrows with cannons. So that's why we even didn't try to improve the situation with conventional designs, but we decided to approach this uh, situation from a point of the study and seeing how we can improve the sound of study with completely unconventional approach. Using the above analogy, the BA drivers of a conventional IEM are placed at the very entrance of an ear canal, while we place the drivers deep inside of it, all on axis with each other, and on the axis with the eardrum. One of key drivers, as we call it, is naked, that is, without any sound tubes at all, so we don't have to deal with any colorations that inevitably come when you put a sound tube on an earphone driver. The tips of our IEMs are supposed to be positions at the vicinity of ear canal second bend, so the operational volume is much smaller than in conventional design, and the ear canal's occlusion effect is much less pronounced compared to a conventional case of isolating the ear canal at its very entrance. Also, the naked drivers in our designs are physically located within the operational volume, the same way as the loudspeakers are within the listening room, while the conventional designs position all their drivers outside this operating volume. Following the same analogy above, the latter would be the same as to position the loudspeakers in the rooms adjacent to the listening room. Each Stereo Pravda product is meticulously crafted by hand, and when finished is extensively auditioned to make sure it is absolutely perfect. The Stereo Pravda's line of the in-ear monitors includes three models. SB7 – 7 drivers, SB5 – 5 drivers, and SB3 – 3 drivers. Each smaller driver complement model is not just a trickle-down version of the flagship SB7, but is a self-sufficient design, fully fledged at its developmental stage on its own, to demonstrate a different aspect of the balanced amateur technology. Stereo Pravda's dedicated DAC unit is a dedicated DAC crossover sound shaping processor, 2 amp in one differential portable unit, intended to be used in a no hold barred scenario with either our own ear monitors or with the best portable audio transducers on the market. Each model is backed with the highest reputation of our carefully selected worldwide dealers and our 30 days no question asked warranty. We are constantly getting rave reviews for our products from some of the most reputable sources, which confirm the uniqueness of our designs and the unprecedented sound quality our products provide. Most of the conventional manufacturers look at our decision on optimality versus universality with a sense of bewilderment. They can't understand how we can sacrifice a large chunk of the market just because of our radical approach. But we would like to see our activities as a small-scale production where each sample is built like a work of art. We live in a supercharged world where opportunities to enjoy music become more and more scarce. And that's why uh, the opportunity to carry your music system with you become more and more cherished. There is a saying, no pain, no gain, which is not taken literally here, but which is confirmation that high-end audio in its halcyon days was driven by enthusiasm 
in this case pain of its enthusiasts. On our side, we're trying to do what we can to achieve the best sound quality and we're expecting those who watch this video to do the same on their side. So in the end, we can close our eyes and fly away with the magical sound of music.